Hello, my name is Nate. Welcome to my Fluid Art channel. I am working on a 24 by 36 inch canvas tonight. I'm reusing this because this is kind of an example of everything going wrong. <laughs> I was testing out a new pearl pour mix um, and you can see I got, oh, I think I got six or seven tiny little pearls over here. So I did not get any pearls. It, it was beautiful clouding that I got. Uh, but I also the idea was I wanted to break this canvas up into thirds and have negative space on either side and um, and the design in the middle. But the design is too narrow when it's stretched out. I wanted it to take up more of the canvas. Um, also, my um, Thalo Turquoise from Golden's that I mixed up did not have enough pigment in it because I painted the sides and edges. You can see how dark it is here. I'm not sure how well this is showing up on camera, but especially like in this area here, up in here, and in these corners, you can see the canvas glowing through the paint. So I obviously did not have enough pigment in there. So um, yeah, everything kind of went wrong on this. I also had a little uh, lump of something, maybe a goober from my Floetrol that didn't get filtered out. Um, and, I, and when you have a negative space like this, to have a lump right in the middle just um, makes the, ruins the whole thing for me. So I have sanded that down. I cannot feel that lump anymore. Um, so I've sanded it down and then used a damp paper towel to wipe it all off. Um, and so I'm gonna reuse this canvas. Uh, what I'm going to do tonight is another pearl pour uh, using my hair dryer. And uh, this is inspired by Cindy Art Studio. I will link the video in the uh, description box uh, that I'm using as my inspiration, especially her color scheme. Um, and uh, she did this a beautiful painting where it was just dark color here and then white and a little bit of uh, other cloud colors uh, on the outer edges. She used a very small canvas, I'm gonna use a big one. So I'm going to use, um, this is um, Amsterdam's um, Thalo Blue. Nope, Prussian blue, I apologize. And uh, you won't be able to see the consistency because that's so dark. Uh, but I am also using ultramarine blue from Amsterdam. Let's leave these here so we can see them. Um, and then I've used my pearl mix and some of the, um, the Prussian blue to create two cloud colors that are um, varying shades. So uh, this is the base and then I've added my pearl mix to this uh, about half and half and it came up with this gorgeous color and then this one is about three quarters of my pearl mix and a little bit of the um, uh, the Prussian blue um, so those are the only colors I'm using except for my new pearl recipe I've done a test and it works really well um, I will put the recipe in the description box but I've been playing around with different recipes because I'm out of my Vallejo pearl medium um, so I have discovered uh, that um, DecoArt Matte Metallics in uh, Ivory Pearl um, gives me some really great pearl cells. So it's a lot more expensive than the Vallejo, so I'm going to use it sparingly. Uh, but again, I'll put that recipe in the uh, description box. Um, I'm going to start by pouring a, um, a stripe of pearl mix here and blowing that out because I might blow this out and then also come from this corner. Um, so it's kind of balanced from both, both directions. I, I will do one side first and see how it blows out. I might just leave just that one corner. I want something kind of minimal here. That's, that's the entire idea. Um, so I'm gonna put on some music for you while I get painted.
call this loosely inspired by Cindy Art Studio because this is not at all what hers looked like. Um, I'm okay with that though because I think this is gorgeous. I'm really happy with it. My pearl mix worked out beautifully. I love the dark vibrancy down here. Um, and it's kind of a shocking darkness and, uh, um, with all of this soft wispiness out here. Um, I got pearls right here along this uh, edge of the darkness. Look at that ultramarine blue. I sure hope it dries with that kind of vibrancy because I think that is super cool. And these pearl cells are beautiful. Look at that. The lacing that kind of goes through there is just gorgeous. Love it. And then the, the wispiness as it comes out here pearl cells popping up everywhere through it also. Um, it's not showing up on camera as much, but that uh, ultramarine blue, when it comes out into here, maybe there's a little bit right there. You can see how it's kind of got a purple tint to it. Super cool, there's some right there too. What a amazing highlight color 
kind of running throughout. There's some right there too. Sorry about the glare. But look at the wispiness and softness all the way out here. I love how that blew out. Really, really nice. And, oop, I see a little lump. The satin enamels can be quite lumpy. So um, I had to pick some out a little, a couple of times. I'll have to get, grab that one before I go anywhere else. Look at that, that looks like smoke. So cool. I'm loving this. Yay, oh, look at that section there. Look at those beautiful pearls. It's more of that ultramarine making a, a purple violet color. Yeah, you know what? I'm super, super happy with this. I think it's gorgeous. Let me know what you think in the comments. Unfortunately, I won't have dry results for this video, but I will show you in the next one. I will also definitely post it on my Instagram page and on my Facebook page, so follow me there. Um, and um, thank you very much for watching. So if you enjoyed this video, subscribe if you'd like to see more. Give me a thumbs up. And now go mix some paints and be fearless.